Uh, really useful session. No, thanks. Um, it gave me some time out to think and reflect, which hopefully I can take back to my team. Um, Let me ask you this question. Show of hands. Anybody ever worked with a negative person? <laughs> yeah, some people. They're in the room. I won't put my hand up just yet. <laughs> okay, if that negative person is in this room, if that negative person is in this room, just blink. <laughs> okay, all right, we got it. Okay, so we go. Rabbit in headlights. It's only I saw you. But this thing, what does a negative person actually do to you? Do they have you help you have a great day, or do they drag you down? Drag you down. Do they inspire you to do your best, or do they? depress you enough to think, I'm just going to get through this and get on. I'm going to get through it and go home. But a negative person is not a negative person. That's got you, hasn't it? I was with you till then, Scott, but uh, not there. A negative person is just someone that's different to you. Um, it does make you think of what you hear. Yeah. But I thought it was really funny and thought-provoking, and I enjoyed it. Good. But negative people often don't do it intentionally. It's just their habits, their beliefs, their values, and also the permission in the relationship. Very good. Our... I thought it was a really good use of an hour. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because it was so focused, and I think the, th the message that's come to me is that just making a very small change mm -hmm. in the way that you do things can have a really big impact. And sympathy. Ever worked with someone that's really positive? Helps you want to do your best? <laughs> no one's moving. Uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, it's, yeah, I'm not with him anymore. But, so, I'll ask you again. Um, this isn't a courtroom, by the way. You're not admitting anything. Um, someone that's really positive, that is there if you want to ask a question. They say, have you got one minute? And they're just there for one minute. They're not there forever. And if you've got a problem, you can ask. And rather than saying, what you should do is this, they say, what do you think we should do to resolve this? What do you think a good idea would be? They engage you, they involve you, they collaborate. Because often managers are promoted to management roles, not because they demonstrated any real ability or willingness or capability to lead people to achieve things through them. They're promoted on the strength of they were good at something else. They were good in a non-management role that involve them getting results by themselves, and they excelled at it. So then the leaders think, well, there's some management roles coming up, who should we promote, who's in the pool? Often, but not always, they've already got their answer. And it's not based on future capability. Or I thought it was really thought-provoking, made me think about some of the messages I deliver, how I deliver them, the words I use, and I'll be trying to take it on board and use it in future. Excellent, thanks.